I hereby declare that Theresa May, Theresa Mary, the Conservative Party candidate, has been well, that duly is a, a good elected. example of what um, English I'd democracy like throws up in the seats where the Prime Minister is. It is a huge honour and a privilege to be elected as the Member of Parliament for this constituency, and I pledge that I will continue to work for all my constituents as I have done over the period of time uh, that I have been your Member of Parliament. As I say, it's a huge honour. This is a wonderful constituency, and I look forward to continuing to work with you to, to see improvements, further improvements, for the life of those who are living here in the Maidenhead constituency. At this time, more than anything else, this country needs a period of stability. And if, as the indications have shown, if this is correct, that the Conservative Party has won the most seats and probably the most votes, uh, then it will be incumbent on us to ensure that we have that period of stability and that is exactly what we will do. The party that has lost in this election is the Conservative Party. The arguments the Conservative Party put forward in this election have lost. I think we need a change. That's not quite true. That Labour is the party that lost. We gained seats in every region of the country. We won three million more votes on a much... The government in office in 11 days' time will have to conduct those Brexit negotiations. Our position is very clear. We want a jobs-first Brexit. Therefore, the most important thing is the trade deal with Europe. And I would have thought perhaps a good gesture from Parliament would be to vote now to agree that all EU nationals can remain in Britain. We are ready to undertake negotiations on behalf of this country to protect jobs and have a sensible trade arrangement, tariff-free trade arrangement with Europe. Do you think Theresa May should resign? I said so last night at um, my own election count that she fought the election on the basis that um, it was her campaign, it was her decision to call the election, it was her name out there, and she was saying she was doing it to bring about strong and stable government. Well, this morning it doesn't look like a strong government, it doesn't look like a stable government, it doesn't look like a government that has any programme whatsoever.